My fellow metalheads, welcome back to Ballheader Reactions. My name is Joseph, for those who are new to the channel. Today, we're going to be doing another reaction for Love Bites. It's going to be Thunder Vengeance, in particular performance at live at Zeb Driver City Tokyo, which was what I from that same concert I did a song before. And when I kind of gave my criticism of the song, a lot of you guys realized, oh, I'm into thrash metal. I like the louder approaches. I like the loud songs, I like the heavy songs. A lot of you recommended this particular song, Thunder Vengeance. So I'm going to be excited to check it out and just give my honest and genuine opinion. If I like the song, I don't like the song, what I love to like, what I don't like in it. And let's have a fun conversation about it. Uh, I'll try not to stop too much, but it does help me to stop a little bit to kind of gather my thoughts and tell you what I think in a moment in time. Let's get into the reaction without any further ado. Come on, give me some thrash. Is it raining blood? <laughs> Is the first song or like mid concert? Game of Thrones. Yeah, my main contention was for the first song is that I thought she was a wonderful singer, but I felt personally in the previous reaction that her voice somehow didn't match the music that I was listening to. Let's see if in this song is going to be different. She picks a different style. Pentagram, good sign. Well, it's a five point star. Oh, that's what I'm fucking talking about. Yeah, I don't have to pretend right away her voice is much better here. It's almost like like old school except well it has like this kind of very like traditional metal sound. I like it. And right away they kicked into it high gear. Let's go. Yeah, I can definitely hear that uh, except the Judas Priest, the Black Sabbath, those old school, the new wave of British heavy metal. I definitely hear it here and the inspirations in the song and I love it. I love the guitars. Her attitude, I think she has the best attitude out of everybody that I see here. She just has that just kind of metal pose. Uh, she's like really into it. She's powerful. She's strong. Um, I, I like her the most out of the band. What 
what I feel like the one one criticism I'm already having here is that I wish it would do more in the performance. Like I'm, I'm I went through half of the song and they've been standing in one spot the whole time. Uh, I understand it's not every band is gonna have like this very energetic, high octane performance. But for example, like I remember every single time the six six or seven times that I've seen you know Iron Maiden. I love their jumping around, they're moving around, their high kicks, there's something going on. And Judas Priest, even though they don't, for example, Rob Halford doesn't move around a lot, but he'll just kind of give these really cool poses. Motorcycles are coming out in the middle of the stage. Here, it's kind of like they just stand in one spot and do their singing, and that, that's about it. Uh, I would have loved to see some kind of a, you know, moving around, engaging the crowd and doing all these kinds of things. I mean, maybe it's hard to do in high heels. I have no problems with the music. <laughs> it's like if I like I take her vocals out of the equation, there's zero problems with the music. I love where how it sounds. I love the attitude. I love the way they play. They're very skillful. Now adding her voice into it, uh, I think it matches actually a lot better in this song. I think her approach, in my personal again, my personal opinion, nobody else's. I'm not saying that this is a fact. In my opinion. Uh, this is the style that fits more to the band and sounds better with this band. Oh, there you go, some head banging. These girls are shredding. Yeah, I think out of uh, the whole band, the two highlights for me is the what I, I assume is the lead guitarist and the drummer. Because I think you guys mentioned that the drummer is co-owner of Pearl Drums, if I'm correct. I've, I've, I read that in one of the comments. But either way, she's just really skilled. That was much better um, from the first song that I heard. Uh, on all fronts, I would say I like the songwriting a little bit better. Uh, definitely they're playing. They play very, very well. They're very skilled. Um, 
the performance is about the same. They're kind of very stationary as their style. I mean, that this is a problem with a lot of bands. In my opinion, it's not that just them. Like a lot of people I've seen live is like they stand like like uh uh like mannequins in one place and don't really move around. Where I do enjoy this very kind of engaging, very crazy. One of the best live shows I've ever seen was Overkill. And Bobby Blitz, the singer, would literally run into the crowd, jump into the mosh pits. The, the, the guitarist and the bass player are all going headbanging, going crazy, going side by side with each other. It's always like very, very entertaining. There's always something crazy that's going on. I remember like Exodus, the first concert I ever went to, the high fiving everybody. The guitarists are playing on each other's guitars while it's like craziness is happening. And this is like more, I think, plain. And it's like just something i would point out it's like not not 100 to my liking I, overall with this band so far it's like this is a there's a respect there's a total respect from her singing because she is a wonderful singer she knows how to sing she has skills and they're all wonderful musicians but their songwriting her singing style and their performance is just like for example i wouldn't uh you won't see me downloading their discography and going through the whole discography it wouldn't so far from these two songs hasn't captured my attention but let's see again two three four five songs sometimes it would take me longer to get into a band perhaps it's going to happen with this one perhaps not who knows but the one thing you can count on this channel is i'm always going to give you my 100 percent genuine in the moment reaction of how i felt not some kind of a logical explanation just what feelings i had so you know how i much i enjoyed or didn't enjoy a song and hopefully you can appreciate that and if you do subscribe to the channel for more and enjoy the rest of your day keep it metal